Today I will introduce the Daisy Chain function of EMI Office Core M3 speakerphones. The EMI Office Core M3 has two Daisy Chain methods. The first method is to Daisy Chain two M3s together, and the other method is to Daisy Chain an M3 and a meeting capsule. Let me walk you through the process of how two M3 speakerphones are Daisy Chained together. First, Connect one of your M3 to your device by using Bluetooth, dongle or USB wire. The M3 will automatically be switched on once it's connected to your device. But please note that the M3 will not be automatically powered on if you are connected via a Bluetooth or dongle. You will need to manually power up the M3. Then insert the two ends of the daisy chain cable into the link pot of the two M3 respectively. Once you have connected two M3s together, you will need to switch on the second M3. Now once the daisy chain is completed, the status indicator of the first M3 will be green and the second M3 will be eyes blue. Both M3 will be synchronized and any operations such as mute or changing the volume will be applied to both. Now let's take a look how the EMI meeting capsule and the EMI office core M3 are connected. First, you will need to plug in the power to the meeting capsule and connect it to your computer. Then, using DC chain cable, connecting the meeting capsule and the M3 together. Remember, once you have DC chain them together, switch on the M3. After it's DC chained, the meeting capsule will show a status indicator of ice blue and the M3 will be blue. Now you can operate on either the meeting capsule or the M3. The operation will synchronize to each other. But please know that if you choose to connect your M3 to your computer first, then daisy chain the meeting capsule after, the camera of the meeting capsule cannot be used. Therefore, it is highly recommended to connect your meeting capsule to your computer first, then daisy chain your M3. And that's all. Thank you for watching.